so install the refi booting all right so let's see if it's going to work uh, microsoft boot and I'll change this one to original okay so we're going to reboot it doesn't seem to go to the clover let's try boot from EFI doesn't boot. In order to fix Clover's MDOS, well, we need to reformat the EFI folder, which will say 104 meg to 532. So first we need to mount it with Clover Configurator. This will take out the whole EFI folder, okay? And put it somewhere. Because we're gonna copy it completely back. Okay. So now, what we need to do is to execute this command. Because this is this one and this is s2 okay after we did this we will have um, fat 32 i'm not going to do it but it's going to match the fat 32 and what you're going to do is that when it's done it will be empty all we need to do is to drag this whole folder over, okay? Okay, so after copy the uh, Clover folder onto the uh, EFI folder, the FAT32, now we can reboot and see if Clover will work with the new EFI. Okay, let's see if it goes into the, yeah, Clover 32. So now we can do a boot. Very nice. 